Well, it's D-Day for the EDM. I got my uh, replacement transistors. They're a bit beefier than the other ones. MJ15003G uh, BM1011. Some uh, insulator kits. Um, pulled the cap out. It's definitely cracked around the top and leaking electrolytes, so that might be a bit suspect, but we've got no way of testing it, and I don't have a drop in replacement. Uh, new one's $300 from the United States, and it's a two week wait. So I'll put it back in, we'll see how it goes. I, I'm wondering if I could substitute it for a slightly higher or lower microfarad, like say a 6800 microfarad 450 volt, instead of this one, which is a 7300 180 volt. Um, I'll discuss that one later. But right now I've got to unbolt all these and replace them. Okay, we've got voltage, but we had a bit of a stalemate again. I think it's more of a control issue now because the guy who originally looked at it played with a lot of this. And now when I start it, the volts don't come up to 100 and the head starts rising instead of going down. So, I'll turn the main power on. Start the pump. That's all the volts I'm getting. And the head is slowly rising instead of falling. Um, still no change on output. That's reading output volts. I'm getting 100 volts across the capacitor. The bridge rectifier is working. Uh, that's what that is. That's a three-phase bridge rectifier coming off the transformer. Um, got 100 volts through the cap, but I'm not getting any output. Still not getting any output. And I've changed all the transistors. But, yeah, I don't know. I checked the resistors. They're all right. I don't know what that grid is below it, though. I just don't know about that one. I wonder if I should just pull him apart next. We're going to look for an um, industrial electrical expert as well, get a second opinion on it. Mm. Yeah, not sure on this one yet at all now. It was a good start. I mean, I did find some blown transistors, which would explain why that's never been used and why that one never worked. But. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, we think the problem's mainly control now. All the diode bridge is working fine, the transistors are working fine. And that's essentially doing what it's supposed to now. But, the way the head behaves is unusual. It goes up when you turn it on, it's supposed to go down. Uh, when you leave it, it naturally comes up. When we unplug this, it stops. So it's more it's being told to do the wrong thing. Now just up inside the head here, as you can see, that is like a, um, a servo operated proportioning valve. That opens and closes hydraulic passages going to this other valve block and it raises and lowers the head accordingly. It tells it up or down and that little song or that little servo responds to that. So with that disconnected, the head doesn't move, but when we, as soon as we connect it to control, it starts moving up, which is wrong. So I think control has suffered some kind of failure, as well as the um, transistors in the back. Um, might be, con might be um, maybe not related to the uh, transistor failure, or it might be hot completely related to the transistor failure. But we have had trouble with this before. The amount of times the guys pulled this valve apart is silly. Um, half the time I wonder if it was a control issue to begin with. Right, that's all tight. The wiring's a bit shabby, but it's all intact. There's a switch in here too. It's a bit hard to see. Yeah, just to sum up on the uh, EDM, we're pretty sure it's a control issue now. The DC side should work, but yeah, this is the, work, the last bad work piece that it did. And you can see all that excess arcing and melting of the sides put those uh, output transistors under a lot of stress. So, 
Yeah, there's a big carbon deposit there. Um, that was the last one it did. You usually have to chip and scrape all that off and then resume. Hope it keeps burning, but that was as far as we got. The hole's supposed to go all the way through. It's kind of handy for jobs like that, but yeah, we've got to get it running. We need one. It's supposed to have a nice smooth finish like in there. Like freckly, spotty, but not burnt up or melted like that.